Well, we're actually making a bit of a joke that we have been through some really serious stuff over the past few years from like almost dying a couple of times. We've been in some um, balloon crashes. We've been in explosions. And we thought like surely by now we'd have like a Britney Spears circa 2002 moment. Absolutely. Go crazy. There has to be a breaking point somewhere. But no, we're resilient. It's been great. And like it was... Um, yesterday we were talking about how much, like, our characters have changed mm-hmm. over, like, even, like, the one year, um, and evolved as well. Right. And I remember the first time I, I got on, I was on the show, how naughty my character mm. was. The first thing I did was trash Harold's store. I'm sure you guys remember that. Now you're but, a mum. And now I'm a mum. And it's not about me anymore. It's about my little precious baby. Yeah. I was burning down the school and... Oh, yeah, there's so much of that. And now... And now <laughs> I'm in a happy relationship. Exactly. Supporting my mama. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I wanted to reward... We wanted to reward the fans as well because we had got them on side in during the fight for Typer to happen. So we want to reward them. But also, we love working together, and um, I'm glad that we won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I feel like that it was made like um, Piper fought for it harder because there were she was told no. I feel like if Therese and Brad had just let her date Tyler, I probably would have run it a course and maybe and been a lot shorter. But in typical teenage style. Um, it was her parents and her her desire to defy her parents that probably fueled that fire. Well, on air, Piper's only she took a huge break from all her social media and from vlogging, and Pipe Up really did take a break. But we're back now. Um, but she's just being a little bit more censored, I guess, and she's more aware of. Um, what she's really putting out there and who really is out there as well. Um, but I'm glad I got to do that storyline because it, it got a really good feedback from um, younger, the younger audience members who had been trolled in the past. I learned a lot as well about the gaming world and mm. um, gender like representation in it. It's different, that's for sure. Um, you know, when they told me that I was going to be pregnant and have a baby I thought oh great great it's amazing but then you kind of realize hey I'm actually gonna have to have a child with me every day on set and if it's not a child it's a pram and if it's not a pram it's a doll and if it's a not weird a doll, doll like a dislocated <laughs> leg I know and if it's not that then um I have to explain where my baby is because obviously when everyone needs to know where the baby is so it's different and my 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 world revolves around that baby now But it's okay, because he's beautiful and I love him. I've been um, a huge fan of Mark and Paige since day one. Um, Also me and Scotty love each other on and off screen. um, And it would just be... It would be nice to see a happy ending for both of them. I mean, Paige has been through hell and so has has Mark. And it would be nice to see them just both happy together. That would be... some happy on the show. I know. Someone have a win. It's doom and gloom on Ramsey Street at the moment. <laughs> I mean, Hamish didn't mean for that to happen. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm. Had no idea what was going on, though. Mm. Yeah. Could have all ended there in the garage <laughs> where it all began. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I don't understand how people are in the scene with him, and then he'll just be like, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't hear him apparently. No, no one has. He's a classic manipulator. You know, he he's giving and offering so much to everyone in the in the community, which uh, is going to make his his true colours when they come out. It's going to be it's going to be a big shock to everyone, mm. especially Tyler. Mm-hmm. I was really excited for to just play a different dynamic for our relationship because normally it's you know part of her being injured and Tyler looking after her. So it was nice for a change and for the audience to see Tyler being the victim mm. for once. 
and to, uh, Piper supporting him. So, yeah, it was nice. And this is a huge storyline for Travis, and um, I was excited for him. I, I think co-parenting for anyone's really difficult. Um, and I think a lot of people can relate to the sort of relationship that me and Jack have at the moment, trying to juggle a child and, you know, keeping our relationship um, not volatile in any way for the sake of the child. And it'd be hard for Jack to watch someone like Mark jump into our little family and, and, and become a father figure. It would be hard for anyone in real life for that to happen. So we just have to be sensitive to everyone's feelings. But who knows? Like, it's neighbours. I could end up with the father of my child. Yeah, could, could end up with little Cole Kennedy. Kennedy. I, I mean, who knows? I could it's end like... up with Toadie. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> he is single at the moment. That's the true. Toad is single. <laughs> I want the Toad! <laughs> I am going to gun to the toad. I'm going to, I'm actually going to speak to the producers after this. I reckon, toad fish, toad fish. I reckon Paige and Toadie would be great. I'm joking. Pody. Yeah, no. Pody. Pody or Jode. <laughs> Jody. Oh, no, that's so close. Uh, Jody. Jody. Uh, Jody. <laughs> anyway, sorry, continue being silly now. Fan, fans, people just love it over here. Yeah. I it, mean, really, we're sort of making the show for the UK now. Mm. Um, you guys are our biggest fan base, and I don't know if our show would be around without you. In fact, mm. I know it won't be, wouldn't be. It wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in Australia, like, we, we feel like we almost forget that we're, what we're doing is being watched. We forget that we're making a TV show almost because all our fans are here. Yeah, yeah, like but not small, like but not, not like here, not like here at all. These guys are crazy over yeah, here. Yeah, I love They're it. Dedicated fans, hardcore fans, it's been passed down from generation to generation. Mm. It is. It's like neighbors is like an heirloom. Yeah. Yes, an heirloom. Mm. You know, it's, it's a really hard question to me because I feel like I've done everything. Mm. I feel like I've had... I mean, you haven't had the baby and you haven't I had know, the marriage. I know, I know. I don't want to... I mean, you've had a few near deaths. Seeing you. You've with... had, I know, I know, I know. It's sort of like... It's, it's. I'm not saying it's difficult, it's just different. But it'd be nice to be a free young woman again. That's what you could do. I know, but... Do you want a uni? Maybe. Oh, I mean, that's what she's gonna do. She could take a gap year. She could, she could. I don't know. Everyone seems to be going to Queensland. She could go to Queensland. Um, maybe knows? I'll go to Queensland. True. Maybe we'll start shooting in Queensland. Maybe we'll shoot in the UK. That would be fun. That's so good. Actually, that would defeat the purpose of it always being sunny in Ramsey Street. Yeah, we complain about wearing shorts in Melbourne winter. Can you imagine wearing shorts here in their winter? Gross. Mm. Oh. When we first started, we weren't really that close. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, I didn't yeah. even know you. Remember, we, remember our first conversation on Skype? Oh, my God, that was so weird. I wish that was actually in the episode. That was in the episode, wasn't no. it? It was, like, for the YouTube channel. Oh, my God, that was amazing. Oh, uh, I remember going, oh, that's we really met cool. That's right. We should have met on Skype. Uh, I mean, we did for, you know, for, online. For the real fans. But, I mean... I mean, you can see how we are in oh, front of the camera right now. We're like sisters. Absolutely. And we got to work together at Harold's as well, which helped oh, our yeah. relationship. That's Then right. you moved in for a bit. Yeah. Am I not with you now? Oh, no. I don't know where I am now. <laughs> I actually doesn't know where I am. I'm going to pretend I do. <laughs> where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it really works for me. I'm really embracing my new super mom. role. Yeah, super mum. I like it. I'm, just, I'm glad I'm not at Harold's anymore, actually. Who is at Harold? I'm not there. Oh, the, the Shaman Re 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 Rebecca's. The Mishties? <laughs> the Shaman Rebecca's. <laughs> the Shaman Rebecca's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're being so silly. But that's us all the time. 
<laughs> making jokes, having fun. <laughs> you got it. When the show is just depressing, like it's not. It's not depressing. But I'm saying when we're doing all these intense storylines, you've got to have the silver lining. I feel like we're just constantly crying on that show. Yes, yeah, so we need a little. You, you definitely are. So are you? You're the best crier. Oh my god, it's Compliment City. <laughs> Love you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh my Rebecca, <sighs> love her. She's a mum. Love her. She's our. We call her mama at work. Like she. she we actually call her mum. Mama, mama, ma, ma. And then it was, <laughs> I was having, like I, we, we always like jokingly like mama, mama. But I was having this like real personal heart to heart with her one day, and I was like, I just don't know what to do, mum. I <laughs> legitimately called her mum. <laughs> She's incredible to work with. Um, me and her have a love hate relationship. It's. It's more, it's more love, but I steal her food at work and um, I try and push all her buttons and um, sometimes I take it a little bit too far and she cracks and you don't want to see Elma Loglu crack because <laughs> it is scary. <laughs> Am I right? Absolutely. Um She's like a mum, but also we fight like sisters. Yeah. Like, and she's an incredible actress. Mama. I always, I know where she, she now hides her food, but little does she know, I know where that is. She used to keep changing it. She'll tell me where she's put it. I actually have a video of Olympia, like, opening the desk. I was filming it as, like, proof. And she's like, stop! <laughs> and that's where she keeps her crackers and her tuna. Um, and... I know where her lunchbox is, and I go and take her eggs out of there sometimes. Um, it really makes her crack, and I like seeing that. It brings me joy. It's basically the same. You have to. You have to have that. You have to have that off-screen chemistry, or the on-screen is non-existent as well. You know, you can't just turn it on and off. Mm-hmm. Um, it's. Uh, I couldn't imagine working with someone I didn't like, but luckily we don't have to because we like everyone we work with. Luckily. I would like to see Paige settle down with someone and just feel secure and feel happy and have a perfect little family. Mm. That'd be nice. That would be nice. And the fans probably want that as well. Yeah, I know. Um, the cup song. Uh, Piper. <laughs> uh... I would like her to have a happy moment for a second. I would like her to have a win. <laughs> Something. Um, a happy storyline would be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. A win. Maybe something good with uni. Ooh. She's 18 soon. What, who knows what the future can bring. Maybe she can become like a really big party animal. Gone yeah, I never know. I know. I've never had to do a drunk scene before because she's been underage. I mean, that hasn't stopped anyone else on the show. But <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah, now that she's age, I feel like it opens up a lot of doors. Mm. Are you driving yet? Mm. Huh. Yeah, I know. That Hermione needs to go. That Hermione. I want we to need take to... Hermione with me whenever I do leave. I hope she's. Can I just take that cup away from you? <laughs> I can't really fidget you. with. Here you give you a little fidget spinner. I know. It's like I've gone into a fight. I don't know what happened. Babe, also, I've just been biting all my nails. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, where were we? <laughs> At least the fans can see what we're really like. I know. This is what it's like on and off screen for us. There's no... There aren't any characters anymore. No, no characters. It's pretty much a reality show. <laughs> That's what we would really like. We've always said that we want to do like, you know how sometimes the UK does a 10 p.m. special, but we want to do like a 10 p.m. special that's M rated. I don't know what your rating system here is in the UK, but basically it's like like three, neighbors after dark, and then just like being able to swear and do like like naughty things, like like what it's like in the green room. That's where we should be filming the green room. The amount of stories that go on in there is nuts. We're filming the wrong stuff. We need to get put the cameras in the green room. I've always said, no one's still this idea, but I've always said that is going to be the next show called The Green Room. I'm pretty sure I said that, and I've got video I, footage no, of me saying No, it. you didn't. When Jai scares me in it, we're talking about it, Zoe and I, and I go, yeah, and like Ricky Gervais would do it and call it The Green Room. No. 
No. No. No. No. No. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 But it would be cool. It would be like a Ricky Gervais thing. Yeah, like extras. Yeah. Or the office. Yeah. But the green room. Should we contact him? Pitch our idea. Well, we've been yesterday. We we're name dropping him an awful lot. Yeah, because we we kind of want him to do a cameo on Neighbours. How great would Ricky Gervais be on Neighbours? I feel like he'd have to... No, mm. no, I reckon he'd play a great character. Oh, true. That is, like, his thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's his thing. be me? I don't know. My lover. Everyone else has been. <laughs> Maybe you could settle down with, with Ricky Gervais! <laughs> so I know I'm fidgeting. It can't be good for the microphone. I <laughs> know. All that. <laughs> Well, this has been fun. <laughs> well, you know, um, Kate, well, Laura and my mum came back when I was having the baby, and anyone can sort of come back whenever. Um, it makes sense that my parents would come and visit me. So hopefully they do come back. Um, it was really hard when Katie left because she was my mummy, and imagine Beck leaving. No, I don't know what I'd do. Because she's like my real mummy. But yeah, she Kate Kendall's directing on the show at the moment, so she's always around. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun, too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.